<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the 17th Patriot player to be inducted into the Patriots Hall of Fame, our pal Drew Bledsoe. take off my sunglasses. You guys got to quiet down and make me get emotional. We love you, Drew! Hey, uh, Drew, we love you! Well, first of all... We love you, Drew! Thank you. Uh, first of all, I want to, I want to congratulate John Morris. Um, I've said this a, a couple of times this weekend, but it's, uh, but it's very, very true. Um, I still consider myself, even at this advanced age, to be part of uh, this generation of, uh, of uh, football players, uh, the, uh, the, the modern generation, but we stand on some very broad shoulders. Um, these guys that, uh, that uh, played the game for, for peanuts back in the day, they created the league that, uh, that is now a multi-billion dollar business that we're all the beneficiary of. Uh, so um, I said that to the, to the current players today, and uh, I believe it wholeheartedly. We owe an, an extreme debt of gratitude to the players that came before us, so thank you guys. Armstrong told me you can hear him miles away. I'll get him up here. Let's throw up there! <clears throat> Sport has the power to change the world. It has the power to unite in a way that little else does. It speaks to youth in a language they understand. Sport can create hope where there once was only despair. It's more powerful than governments in breaking down racial barriers. It laughs in the face of all types of discrimination. Uh, those aren't my words, and I wish they were. Those are from Nelson Mandela. And I think it's, you know, with, with uh, the perspective of retirement, um, it's something that's, uh, that's, that's has struck home with me. Um, you know, when we, uh, when we played the game, you know, we were just trying to win a game. You know, we're just practicing. But now with, with some perspective, um, it's, it's, it's a little bigger than that. It was 10 years ago this weekend that we collectively together decided not to play football. Uh, out of uh, respect for a mourning country after the, after the, the events of 9-11. When we took the field that next week, uh, we had a greater sense of purpose, and we um, knew that we had the responsibility of helping to begin in some way to, to heal a, a wounded nation. Uh, we were playing not for wins and losses. Uh, we were playing to give our fans something focused, something positive to focus on. We wanted to play to in some small way exemplify the American values of teamwork, perseverance, toughness, and fortitude. And that's, uh, it's, also very, very, it's also very true today, um, you know, with the uh, uh, struggling economy and high unemployment. And, uh, it's, a, it's an important time for, uh, for football to be uh, this steady thing for people to rely on. So to Robert Kraft and to um, you know, the, the Players Negotiating Committee and, and uh, all the people that made it happen to settle this thing and get back on the field playing football, we thank you and we owe you a debt of gratitude for that. You know, it seems, uh, seems foolish sometimes to bestow individual honors for the game of football. It's the ultimate team game. Um, you take the field, you're literally only as good as your weakest player. Um, I was very, very fortunate. Played with some great men of tremendous character. Uh, a lot of them are here. Some of them shocked me by showing up. Um, but I'm standing here uh, because of their efforts every bit as much as uh, on my own merits. So 
Um, I thank you, uh, all of you fans, uh, for voting uh, me into this honor, but I can't accept it alone. Um, you're going to have to bear with me for a minute while I express some very necessary thank yous. First, first, all the guys that kept me off my back for the most part. Um, yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, you know, Bruce Armstrong, who watched my back for all those years. Was, uh, uh, Todd Rucci, we were drafted together. Not only did he uh, protect me fairly well most of the time, uh, but also became my best buddy. Uh, to Max Lane, who watched my back all those years. Dave Woolabaugh, Bob Cratch, uh, Pat Harlow surprised me by showing up. Um, I don't want him blocking for me now because I outweigh him. Uh, but he uh, was, was, was a great player for us. Um, Doug Skeen, uh, Zephyrus Moss, Damian Woody. There's a long, long list. I'm not going to list them all. But uh, as a quarterback, uh, man, you know those guys have your life in their hands. That's why my mom always made cookies for the uh, for the for the line. <laughs> Was, my life was in their hands every day, and I didn't take that lightly. Um, next to the uh, uh, to the guys that made some of my errant throws look like they were okay, went and got them. The guys went, the, the, they caught the ball for me. Vincent Brisby came in with me. Um, the little dude, Troy Brown, is sitting right now. tell people all the time that we went I went to my first practice as a rookie I called my old man and he asked me you know who stood out and uh, I only mentioned one name and that was Troy Brown I think you were an 18 at that time six or six did you ever uh, yeah you were a number six I think uh, I think we know I think we know what what number he wore from then on uh, but uh, you know Troy was a Troy was a guy you put the ball anywhere near him he's gonna come down with it um, Bingo! I think they cut you Bingo! twice Twice? Just once. <laughs> Two or three times, yeah, and I kept cutting him and trying to run him off, and he was just too good a player. Um, they should have just come and asked me. Uh, it would have been an easy decision. Sean Jefferson, uh, David Patton, Michael Timson. Uh, of course, uh, can't forget the legendary Ben Coates. Yeah. <laughs> Terry Glenn was a great one. I got to play with Terry again in Dallas. And then got surprised, John Burke, my tight end, showed up uh, out of the blue today. John, thanks, man. And there's a, then there's a group of guys that, uh, that kind of covered both ends of that spectrum, guys that blocked for me and then uh, went and caught balls out of the backfield. My man Kevin Turner caught that touchdown pass. Kevin's going through a tough time, so please keep him in your thoughts, he and his family. Uh, Sam Gash. Yeah. Sam Gash. Yeah. Got to play with Sam Gash um, twice, once here, once in Buffalo. And for those of you that don't know, when Sam went to Buffalo, while he was still playing for the Buffalo Bills, they handed out an award called the Sam Gash Award. And it was for the biggest hit every week. And invariably, you'd walk into your Monday meeting and say, this week's Sam Gash Award goes to... Sam Gash. Uh, All-time great, Curtis Martin. And of course, Kevin Falk is one of uh, one of three guys. That's Thank the guys that were my my wingmen, the guys that kept me sane. Those were my uh, my fellow quarterbacks, Scott Zolak, who's now kept me sane for a lot of years. Uh, Tom Tupa, John Trees. And I got to thank another guy who was really a horrible backup quarterback. This number twelve guy who was. Really bad backup quarterback because he didn't understand the backup part. He went on the field. <laughs> I 
thought it was really, really selfish of the guy. He knows I'm coming out here for my Hall of Fame weekend. I think I have one record left in the books, and he goes and knocks it out. <laughs> I do, I do want to say this, though. I hope that, uh, um, you know, I know that you guys have been, as fans of the Patriots, have been really spoiled for, for a long time now with this guy playing quarterback for you. I hope you would truly appreciate what you have here because the guy's, uh, what he's doing on the field is, uh, is truly special. So make sure you continue to appreciate it. Also have to uh, have to thank some guys that, uh, that that took over when I threw it to the wrong team and gave us the ball back. Uh, and a lot of guys that uh, that uh, were part of some really great defenses. Uh, you know, Willie McGinnis, Chris Slade. Guy down up right here, Teddy Bruski. You got Big Ted Johnson, Ty Law, Mike Grable. These are all the names you were talking about that uh, that are uh, yeah just going to be hard to turn down for one of these red jackets. It's going to be a long list. Uh, I've got to thank all the coaches that put up with my junk for all those years. Um, Coach Parcells, Ray Perkins, Chris Palmer, Charlie Weiss, Pete Carroll, Larry Kennan, Carl Smith, Ernie Zampezi, Bill Belichick, and then I also want to say. Uh, a, 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 a kind of a special, a little special recognition of a guy named Dante Skarnakia who's been here. Never, never says, Dante never says a word, but all those trophies and rings, a guy, uh, without him, those probably don't exist. He's a, he's a truly a special coach, and I hope you truly appreciate Dante. Got to say a quick thank you to some guys that, uh, that kept me healthy and in one case kept me alive. Uh, Ron O'Neill, uh, Kirk Brummels, and, our, and, uh, and Bert Zarens, who was our team doctor. Those guys kept, it, kept me healthy, kept me on the field, and when I, got, when I really got hurt, they were the ones that made sure that I got to the, uh, got to the hospital instead of going home. Just some very personal thank yous for me, Barbara Rizzo, for making, for keeping, uh, keeping us uh, together, taking care of us for all those years. Stacy James for scheduling all these damn media things. <laughs> Stacy was only supposed to be here for one year as an intern, and he was going back to Washington State. Go Cougs! And uh, now he's been here for forever and ever, and a bunch of championships. Uh, my friends, the Carmichaels, Mary Mata, my buddy Gus, who's been right by my side forever. I knew it. I sat there with my wife, and she goes, "You're gonna, you know, you're gonna be emotional." You're gonna be emotional. No, I'm not. I can do fine. I'll be fine. But uh, uh, you know, just uh, the, the Bennett family. The, the, uh, this, the, this is the name I saw that got me. They, they were the ones that really kind of taught me how to throw a football growing up. Um, to all my fans out in the Northwest who lived and died with each throw in each game, um, I knew you were with me the whole time. Um, to my mom and dad, you know, shoot. What am I going to say? I'm not going to look at you, Mom, because you're making me cry. <laughs> but, uh, you know, just the, uh, the, the unconditional love that made it, that, uh, that always made it, uh, made it okay, win or lose, um, but also somehow uh, made it more important. Uh, My, uh, you know, to my brother Adam that, uh, that uh, uh, endured all of it, endured the, the, the criticism and some of the unfair stuff that went on and um, had to listen to all these bad things about me my whole career and did the whole, did the whole time and never punched anybody in the face. <laughs> I'm forever grateful to Adam for not, not flying off the handle when he probably should have. Uh, to my family that's sitting over here, um, you know, John alluded to earlier, but you know, you, if you marry the right girl, everything else is, is pretty easy, and I was very fortunate to, to marry a wonderful lady that uh, uh, supported me in, in uh, all the, the most important ways, um, and who also raised uh, five of us, uh, the, four, <laughs> the, 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 the 
four sitting there, plus me. Uh, to, to, to Stu, John, Henry, and Healy, uh, you changed my life in the best way possible and keep surprising me every day. Um, yeah, and lastly, to the, uh, to the Kraft family, um, to, uh, you know, the, the, uh, we all know the things that they've done for this region. Um, you know, when you look at, at New England sports history, there are going to be some pivotal moments in that timeline that stand out. Trading Babe Ruth to the Yankees, uh, but you get to the to the modern era when you when you uh, when you look and you see the most important points in New England sports history. The purchase of the uh, New England Patriots by the Kraft family is going to be the very top of that list. I were very fortunate to actually be kind of taken taken in by them, um, and um, we all know the wonderful things that Myra Kraft did for for the the world at large. But uh, on a very personal level, uh, she brought us in and made us feel like we were one of uh, one of her own. As we sat in the kitchen and had had dinner, and, and uh, you know, she was uh, one of the truly amazing people I've known in my life, and it inspired me uh, in my own life to be a better person. So, Myra. You know, we uh, we really grew we really grew up here. I got here. I was 21 years old, fresh out of college, single. Um, when I left here, I was 30 years old. I was married with three kids. Uh, still not sure I've grown up like Robert. I still feel like I'm just a little kid. Uh, but you you fans, you embrace me as one of your own. Um, Sometimes good, sometimes not so good. You let me know about it. Uh, but but I, but I learned over the years how passionately you New England sports fans feel about your sports. Uh, you take the you, you take this stuff serious. I didn't, I didn't know that coming from the Northwest. Uh, we go skiing and ride bikes and stuff. You guys watch football and baseball and you're damn serious about it. Um, but for that reason, uh, this honor means more to me than you can imagine. Um, uh, I know how seriously you take it, and I hope that you uh, understand how much uh, it means to me because of that. So on behalf of my, uh, on behalf of my teammates, my friends, and, uh, and my family, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. To uh, welcome some of Bruce's teammates up here to the stage. Some of